Hey guys, my name is Nrene and welcome to this hip tutorial where we're going to focus on gradients, shapes and this abstract slash modern effect here. I think it's really cool, it's the way it's um, so abstract, um, nice colors and all, it just works. Now let's take a look at how we can recreate this effect. I found this image on Design Inspiration and sadly I lost the link, so if you know what image it is, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion or a request to the next tutorial, let me know in the comments below and we will take a look at the effects or you know whatever we should take a look at. So I will work on this image and if you want to work on the same image as well, you can find the image in the description and work along with me. Now the first step is going to be a new layer and I can't even hit that. Uh, so press Ctrl Shift or press N and let's create a new layer. Fill that with a uh, white and press Ctrl U to get the hue slash saturation box up. And we're going to fill that in with this little yellow cold-ish color. So press Colorize with a 100% white. There's no room for color so we'll have to darken this a bit. I'm just going to press negative 10 and play around. So we get something we like. It was kind of uh, yellowish. So let's select this. Maybe we can cool it a bit down later to get the more like it. Um, and now comes the part where we're going to create our shape or whatever. So select the pen tool and let's create an interesting path. Now I'll just turn down the opacity so we can see where I p I create my path because I want to created around this door, I think. Now let's have a look, how can we create an interesting effect? Like this, maybe? Hmm. Now this will be my shape. Turn up the opacity and create an inverted layer mask. So hold down Alt and it will create a layer mask by clicking here and you will see all that's left is the selection. Now comes the part where we're going to create the shape parts, but let's just take a look. I think I need, yeah, I think I need an extra shape in here or something to really help out to sell the effect. So this is more of the shape I'm going for. Boom, I like that. All right, so now comes the part where we're going to create shapes that are going to hold the the selection so we can fill that in with gradients. So we, as you can see, that's what we're going to do. So select the pen tool by pressing P and then go ahead and create interesting parts. I'm just going to create from the corners and then try and go in to select interesting parts and create that on a layer below. So Control shift alt n to create a layer and we're going to create that below that uh, colored layer on top. Now to fill the shape you can press, you can right click and press make selection. Make sure fill the radius is zero or you can just press control push enter. Now fill that with a random color. Create a layer beneath that and let's continue until we have everything we want. You know the whole shell, you know the whole shape is filled with colors. The colors are just for our own reference so um, don't mind if the uh, ugly colors is just for to make it a bit easier for ourselves. Alright, so now we have the whole shape uh, filled up with other shapes and now we're going to clean up because we're going to be needing these as reference for the creating gradients. Now we could actually just merge them down and then select with the magic wand what we want to get and then color the gradients. But as we know, magic wand really gives us horrible selection. So let's never do that and undo that again. Let's go back. Here we are. And just control click here to get the selection and then delete all the way through so everything that sticks out from this shape will be deleted. And then select the layer on top, 
control click to get the selection and let's delete that as well because everything that's all apps the in this case the purple layer will be deleted and that overlaps the black will be deleted and let's just do that all the way down boom ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. whoops i made a mistake here we did do the layer 5 didn't we let's just do that just in case and then layer 6 delete 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 7 delete 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 8 delete delete 9 delete all right Let's go ahead and create a new group and call that selection. Create a new group and call that, I don't know, diamond uh, D shape one. Create a new layer and expand this group or hide and then hide any every layer. And now we're going to select the brush tool and make sure you have a hardness of zero. Then you can play around with the settings depending on your look. I want it fairly big maybe like this and then I'm going to select uh, each shape and just fill it with white or black a different side um, new layer for each selection and let's go let's just go ahead and see what we're going to get maybe that was too big of a brush new layer and I like to see okay this edge is on a black edge so I'll paint that white just to get some difference all right so here you can see this kind of a brightened layer and I'll just create a new layer and then maybe fill that with dark instead and then maybe white here and white here new layer so this should be black here white white you can always come down to each individual layer and turn down the opacity if you think it's too much. Now let's take the next layer. I think this should be dark here. Sorry, dark. White, too much. And what's the next? It's this big one. And I think I want white here. Maybe dark here. And nothing here new layer do you select that control d and select the last piece now this is the most tricky part because it has to touch so many sides in my case but it doesn't have to be that precise so now you can come back and turn down opacity on each individual layer or you can turn down the whole shape if you think if you think it's too much i think mine maybe is better with i don't know 60 percent or around there now in his example he had another shape <coughs> so i will of course do that too just going to fast forward that it's the same technique so nothing new there Alright, so there we have the other. Remember to turn down the settings, play around with them in order to get what you want. Alright, so what really helps out to sell the effect as the hipster effect? Well, one thing we are missing, I think, is the washed out effect. Now, the washed out effect can be easily achieved with the curves. We go ahead and select that and say, okay, 100% black can maybe be instead 80% black. I'm going to do with the white, but that's not maybe an interesting effect. So I'll keep it as the looking at the other picture it also kind of more cold so i'll apply a, a photo filter then select the cooling filter put that on top and then play a bit around with the settings to get what i like but before doing next next step we go we can just make sure if you want the shapes to be where they are is this the most interesting place maybe it's better to have it over here well in that case it's maybe i think it's just easier to go in and then delete this image by or this layer mask by selecting it filling it with white then come down here and 
just recreate the shapes that we have created. This might not be best practice, but it's fine. And select the layer again and then fill that with black. So now we moved the effect over here. You could also just be lazy and select the layer underneath and try to move that around. So let's say, all right, I like this better. Actually, I kind of miss that they are closer to each other, so I'll just undo what I just did to get them closer. And then I will do this process again. I think this is more interesting. I'm also going to crop that. And then, of course, fill that. Boom. Just fill that and stretch fill all the way out. Now I told you we were missing one thing and that is merging all the layers on top. So press Control alt shift e you will see it catches everything here on top. Now then I'm going just to turn down the side. It's going to be easy to see the, the noise that we're going to, to go filter noise, add noise, maybe two instead. And this is the step we needed, or maybe I don't think this uh, cooling filter that did that, that, that good of a job anyway, so I'll just delete that, then add the noise. Then I could play around with the other photo filter effects or a gradient map to, oh, this is interesting, black and white, I like that, or just other filters to, so, to get the effect that we want, or maybe both to get the, the color, just select the cooling filter here and there you have this hipster effect I hope you found this useful let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching mm -hmm.